remarks about the uh, the win? Well, it was a physical game. Both teams played their hearts out. It was just one of those. Yeah, it was an ACC, SEC type game as far as I was concerned. That's just you know people banging on one another, and and it just uh, was very very physical. And uh, we were very fortunate to win. I mean, we were very very fortunate to win. But it was anybody's ball game. We just happened to get the break at the end and and, and to put back or or you know they would be in there celebrating. But uh, Brad's got uh, he's got a he's got a lot of young players. Uh, he's got a, a team that's got seniors and, and freshmen, so they're, they're finding themselves a little bit. I think everybody is now early, but he's going to be fine, and uh, you know he's going to have a good ball club before it's all said and done. Did you set up that last play, Coach, and what you had set up there? Well, I, had, I set it up, but it, it, I didn't set up the second shot. <laughs> <laughs> the, second, the second shot was not set up. It, it just fortunately. We wanted the ball in his hands, and he made the play. Uh, but fortunately, he was able to get another look. The ball went in and out, and then it just came out, and he was there. Uh, you know, it's one of those, you know, in basketball, sometimes you have to get, you have to be fortunate. We were very fortunate uh, in that situation that we were able to get the miss and put it back. Um, so, uh, but both teams, I mean, it's just, such a hard fought game. Such a hard fought game. What were your emotions like to come back in here? I know you kissed the court for the game to come back and get a win in in this building again. Well, you know, to me, it's it's not about beating Clemson. It is not. It, it, it it's a good. It's just a great win for our team following the LSU game. You know, with the LSU win and this win, it says a lot about our team and program. Um, it doesn't feel any different beating Clemson than it did beating LSU. It was a good win. And, you know, my, I have great feelings for Clemson. Clemson is very dear to my heart. So uh, I'll be pulling for them every game from here on out, every single game. Uh, this is a special place. And, uh, uh, you know, they're going to be fine. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Brad Brunell. He's, he's uh, um, a great guy and uh, a good coach. And he's he's going to do fine here. Was it hey, weird, Sam? Hey, coach. How you doing, fine. bud? Fine. Been a while. Yes, sir. You look good. You too. Congratulations. <laughs> was it was it weird being on the other side of the? Yes, court? it was. It was. But once the game started, it was weird early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And very appreciative of Clemson for the, the welcoming. I mean, this is like I said. I've got two daughters, two grandchildren live here, son-in-law. I mean, I've got family that lives here and uh, got a lot of friends. What was the key to getting back in after they made that run to kind of take control of the game at halftime? What was the difference? Well, we were in like? serious foul trouble in the first half. I mean, we had McLaurin with two, Pack with two, Grandigo with two, and uh, Greenwood with two. And we were just trying to get to the locker room. And at the five-minute mark, I said, you know, just just hold on. Just just get to the locker room. And we had three turnovers that bang, 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 and all of a sudden we're down eight. Uh, but we were playing with a <laughs> we were we were we were not playing loaded at the end of that last five minutes. We were in serious foul trouble. But we could not afford to get those guys with another foul in the second half. We knew when we went in the locker room that we were okay. You know, we knew it was gonna be a battle, but we you know if it had gotten to 14, 15 points, it'd been tough. But we had it under 10, and we just got through the foul situation. Any more questions for Coach Ellis? Did you repeat who all you have lived here? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I've got two daughters mm -hmm. and two grandchildren and a son-in-law. So, someone told me you uh, your last game here, you did the same thing with the Tiger Paul. You I sure did. The last time I walked off this course, I kissed it. When I came back, I kissed it. I love this place. I really do. I've got a lot of friends. I've had 10 extended families. I mean, you know, the, the players that played for me all those years. Uh, I mean, just a, a great run. There's an ACC championship here. That's never happened, okay? So this is, this, this is a special place. It holds a dear place. 